is a little baby boy. I'm grown with this baby number one. Ten, home of the baby. Drinks come around, keep going. I'm a woman. You see me on the phone, I'll be pimping. You're a little baby boy. I'm grown with this baby. Now little bitch, she know I was a certified pimp. Big block and it's on my feet. Walking with the ladies, stepping out of Cadillac. Welcome to my show, Life of a Bachelor. I'm the host, James MGTOW, M-G-T-O-W, stand for men going their own way. Um, <clears throat> you know, I like the MGTOW movement. I like some of the elements of the MGTOW movement, but, uh, you know, I, I come with like a black version of it, you know. I'm coming with the black version of it. It's, it's, a, it's a bunch of misconceptions about the MGTOW. Uh, movement, a lifestyle, it's actually a lifestyle, okay, uh, you know, it ain't, it ain't no gay shit, you know, it's just, it's just some guys who, um, fed up with the, uh, the, the legal marriage thing, the court system, I was biased against men, it's actually an offshoot of, uh, the, the MAR, the man's, the man's rights movement or something, some shit like that, the man's rights movement, it's just a, offshoot of that, you know, and, um, okay, I mean, you know, shit, they, they just don't want no committed, it's a bunch of guys who really don't want no committed relationship, you know, it sounds kind of like me, so I, I mean, you know, I've been mostly, um, I haven't had very long-term relationships in my life, I think the, the, the longest I ever went was chicks by like two years, and, you know, I was engaged to get married to her. Um, I can't say her name right now because she'll be all lonely about, we talk here and there, you know, but she'll be all lonely about saying her name on YouTube. So I'm not going to say her name. But uh, but that was the longest relationship I had. Damn, the sun in Memphis on your ass. Woo! How's the motherfucker in Memphis? All right, but uh, anyway, you know, uh, so, you know, I like certain aspects of uh, the MGTOW lifestyle. You know, it's just, you know, guys don't want no committed relationship. They just want to fucking go. They don't want to get married. Um, they see they're going to lose. Shit. I mean, you get married legally. Shit. That's a contract. I mean, and if you fuck up, uh, the man is mostly going to lose. Most likely going to lose. Shit, you're going to lose the house. You're gonna lose the, the kids. Uh you're gonna lose the car. You go shit, the woman gonna get everything. She gonna clean your ass out. So um But you know, I'll be willing to to dis disassociate myself with this movement if, if, if I find a nice lady who um Oh, it's gonna be rough, you know. <laughs> probably this is just probably not gonna be African American chick. But anyway, if she make about eighty thousand dollars a year, got two credit cards, yeah, I might get married. <laughs> but she yeah, most definitely she um most likely that's probably the only way I'm gonna get married, you know, if she probably the breadwinner or whatever she make more I would prefer to be the breadwinner, but uh looks like I'm gonna lose. I mean, you know. Marriage rate is what, what, nine out of ten marriages end up in divorce. The marriage rate is what, damn near 50 50 percent. All right, you know, like I said, if I ask y'all to go bungee jumping with me and it's a 50 50 chance that damn bungee cord gonna break, y'all ain't gonna do it. So that's how I look at marriage. So, like I said, certain elements about the MIG Town movement that I like. But I, I'm coming with a black version of it. I'm coming with my my version of it. But uh, anyway, today, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we're going to go on the topic of Nicki Minaj marrying a Pookie and Ray Ray type nigga. Okay, in my opinions. All right, first of all, I like what he did. He made a retire. Come on, you know you know that was his idea. He made a retired start a family, you know, kudos, I mean, I, I, I like how he did that, check move, check, you know, uh, like I said, you know, you know, that was his idea, you know, that, that, that's, that's smart, you know, but anyway, um, unless he bringing in some real money, I don't know how long she's going to be retired, you know, 
good chance she'll come out of retirement, but she might be away for about four, about five years or something. They'll start to go broke. She'll get back in there. Maybe. But uh, anyway, um, my opinions on why Nicki Minaj chose to marry a jailbird. A pookie and Ray Ray ass nigga uh, with a rat sheet long as my arm. This, he been locked up about 20 times. Felonies, had tempted murder. Shit, he was in on the murder charge. What, uh, what I'm hearing, he, he got out on a tempted murder charge or some shit like that, you know. Uh, my opinion is, um, okay, she's been talking to him. I heard she's been talking to him in Brooklyn for a while. Okay, my opinion with that, okay. Look where she's from. She's from Brooklyn. I think I'm correct. It's Brooklyn. Brooklyn, North Queens, but I believe it's Brooklyn. She's from. Anyway, correct me in the comments if you want. Okay. Most likely from a shithole part of Brooklyn. Or Queens or whatever, you know. So, and her brother, okay, seems like he's a thug. You know, he's got a record. Uh, something about fucking with some kids and shit, I heard. But I got to correct me in the comments on that if you want to. All right, so. Look like the brother is an asshole, a thug and an asshole, okay? You got cousins just like that, okay? That's why black women like Pookie and Ray Ray's because, hey, they, they, they brothers was one. They, they uncle, they cousin, you know? And when, when, when a square nigga come around, he's not going to fit in. The brother ain't going to like him. The cousins ain't going to like him. The uncle ain't not going to like him. You know, I've been through that. I, I was in college, and I, I liked the chick from the hood when I stayed in Milwaukee. And uh, the brothers didn't like me. They didn't like me because I didn't want to fuck with them. I knew they was gang members. I knew they were thug ass gang members, and I didn't want to. I'm you no know, high and by. I didn't even want to go up in the apartment with them. Hell no, you know. So they naturally they didn't like me. So that's what you have, you know. So black women that that live in the hood, that's the type of niggas that they like. Okay. Uh, Pookie and Ray Ray have a tendency to not take no shit. Have a little edge to them. You know, where the, where the guys who got their shit together, the, the, the college students and the, the uh, what you call the educated lames, the educated lames, they might not have that edge to them. Uh, you know, what, what, fuck you, you know, you know, <laughs> Pookie and Ray Ray, they, they, they do have a, they better at checking black women. That's what they used to. Some of these sisters from the hood, they run all over a nice guy. A nice guy, a gentleman. Oh, yeah. Oh, honey, do not do that. Uh-uh, don't do that again. And talking proper and shit like that. Hell no, you ain't going to keep no, no bitch from the hood. Not, not. Uh. Educated lame ain't, ain't going to cut it. You got to be constantly on that bitch. Hey, what? What? You got to be constantly on the bitch ass from the hood. So that's. The reasons why everybody want to know why she married a nigga like that. That's the look where she from. Come on now, duh. Look what look where the bitch from. Come on now. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, I seen some pictures of her back in the day. She was bony, so well, of course she had plastic surgery. But me myself, I prefer some real ass. The titties, I can get away with fake titties. You know, but but ass, I want to feel some soft ass. I don't want to feel no hard, firm ass when I'm fucking it a rub, you know. So, but uh, she looked good, but a lot of that shit on the fake had nose surgery, ass surgery, a tits and all. So, the nigga that she married her, have a daughter, her daughter ain't going to be like that. Her daughter ain't gonna come out with no ass when she grow up and all that, the nose straight and all that shit. Like that she didn't bought. All that fake shit that she didn't bought, first of all. You know. The girl fine, but if I got money and got my shit together, I don't want no fake bitch. I want all natural. You know. I ain't hating on the sister, but I'm just saying, you know. But um and, uh, you know, the educated lames, uh, be honest, most of them date out their race. Most of them can't deal with no sister from the hood. They, they just not, they just, 
like like the things I'm I'm just saying to you right there. They can't handle no sister from the hood. Most of most do the research and Google it. I bet you most black men in this country, once they get to that four year a four year college degree, not that bullshit uh, associates from no community college. Once they get that four year college degree, most of them date out the race. They can't come back to the hood and get no bitch from the hood, man. They can't handle them. The educated lame don't don't have an edge. The educated lame ain't. Hey, hey oh, 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 what, what? Hey, get your sit your head. You know, no Pookie and Ray Ray. A lot of their records are already fucked up. They got criminal records. Like I said, this nigga got a record a mile long. Let me tell you what a nigga with a record don't give a nigga with a record don't give a fuck about putting his hands on a bitch. They'll do that little domestic, that little six months or whatever, a probation for beating their ass or whatever, and be back with the bitch or whatever. But an educated lane, he not going to fuck up his career, constantly have to beat your ass. He not going to risk no record, constantly have to, I've been through that. You know, I've been, I've been to three colleges, okay? I had a chick in Milwaukee named Tiffany. I'm going to say her name. She ain't shit. She can see the video all she wants. She ain't shit. Anyway. Um, I had a chick named Tiffany and she didn't like what you say. She a sprang on you. It didn't happen before. And I didn't had to kick her ass a lot of time. A lot of time I didn't go to jail because she had a worn it down self. So, you know, one time I choked the shit out of her in the car, you know, and drug out of my car, threw a purse all in the middle of the street. Then the bitch came back and tore my car up. Oh. Kicked the the, the, uh, the shift gear all out of place where the car couldn't drive. Oh, man. I choked the shit out of her that day. Like I said, I didn't go to jail because she had a want her damn self. But I cut off. I cut off because I knew what was going to happen. At the time, Wisconsin didn't have a gun permit. And I knew I wanted to go down south, to back to Memphis where I was born, and get a gun permit. And I, I said to myself, man, you're going to fuck around, get a DV. You gonna fuck around and get a domestic violent charge, James. Leave this crazy bitch alone. Because eventually you're gonna go to jail kicking her ass. She gonna make you kick her ass. She gonna, you know, I'm I, oh, you know, I, I had that Pookie and Ray Ray in me back in the day. I'm like, you know what, you gonna constantly, I was gonna constantly have to beat her ass, and I knew I was gonna keep going back to jail. Then I was gonna fuck up my record. Then I couldn't carry guns. Hold on. Then, then, then you can't carry a gun and you can't have a gun permit. Um I'm an armed security officer in Memphis. That would fuck up my record. Why I couldn't be an armed security officer and ha own my own my own company too. I, I couldn't own my own company. I, it would have fucked up everything by kicking this bitch ass. So now, fellas, now you see why the educated lames don't want no hood bitch or can't handle them. Now I can handle them. No, I choked the shit out of her. Got away with it. But anyway, um, also on that story, she, um, I let her brother convince me to bring her back around. I didn't want no more. I just told the girl, you know, I don't want you. I don't, you know. My brother was like, man, bring her over here. You know, you don't want to bring her over there with me. So he brought her over there. He fucked her. Then two more other cousins fucked her. Then one of my cousins actually knocked this bitch up and had two kids. Oh, woo! What a fucking idiot! This bitch had about uh, let me see how many kids she got. Seven now. She had about <laughs> she had five kids when he got with the bitch. Dude, he didn't know to run down. He didn't know to run down on the bitch. And uh. I told my mother, I said, you know, uh, this cousin Deontay, you know, he um, he ain't shit either. I'm going to say his name too. Fuck him. Uh, but anyway, uh, I had a cousin named Deontay, uh, actually a cousin law. He he, um, <clears throat> he tried to go behind my back. Oh, yeah, I'm going to get his bitch. I'm going to fuck his bitch. So you got a hard head bitch that got five kids. He didn't get knocked up. She put this nigga on child support. He done been to jail about five or six times for beating her ass. Then fucked up his record. Even his own probation officer said, man, you a good dude. You a good guy, man. You work hard. You will work. 
but it's this bitch. It's this bitch holding you back. This bitch got you going back and forth to jail. This bitch that ruined your life, nigga. Good. That's why I didn't tell. I told my mother, I said, don't tell that nigga nothing. Let him think he's being slick. I had to give a fuck. I'm like, hey, you can have this bitch. This bitch got five kids. What, what the fuck James gonna do with a bitch with five kids? Stay broke? Shit, I'm all about that money. I'm trying to do, oh, 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 show y'all the $400 Gucci wallet. I'm about that goddamn money. I'm trying to see some money go into this $400 Gucci wallet. I'm trying to get another one. This one kind of, you know, get it. But yeah, but I'm gonna I paid $400 for one more. I'm gonna keep it to it fall apart. Anyway, uh, I'm trying to see some money going in this $400 Gucci wallet. Along with the credit cards. With, 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 with the credit cards and all that shit. Oh, no money. Credit cards. I'm trying to keep money in my pocket. Not pay for no bastard kids. No five bastard kids from them chicks for all he got damn baby daddies. But long story short, the nigga ruined his life. I'm glad. Fuck that nigga. Shit. That's what he get. And, uh... Yeah, then last week, my brother gonna put the bitch on Facebook, Facebook Live or whatever. We seeing the bitch. She looks like shit now. Teeth all missing. Fat. I'm like, woo! I'm glad I didn't marry this shit or, or knock this bitch up. So, um, that's, that's my story. Um, my video for the day. Sorry, I got emotional on this. <laughs> uh, like, share, and subscribe. Like, share, and subscribe. Also, I appreciate y'all with the Minister Jap video. Uh, I, I got about one one point four k. I got um, I got one point four k views on that Minister Jap getting knocked out video. Appreciate you. appreciate y'all, my fans. Um. Like I said, like, share, and subscribe. And we finna go out of here with some 8-Ball MJG. Memphis own 8-Ball, 8-Ball MJG. Like they're with their bitches on that motion. That land just lost a white. Better stop calling that homeboy.